Hello and welcome. My name is Cecily and in this video I am remodeling my uh, sewing studio slash bedroom. I didn't really do a before view other than what you see here just because there's really not much to look at. Um, so anything that I'm putting together is stuff I purchased from Ikea. And then I just had a lot of organizing and cleaning to do as I kind of go through all of my sewing supplies and whatnot. My mom taught me how to sew when I was a kid. Uh, I mostly did like quilts with her and made my own clothes and things like that. I stopped sewing for quite a few years um, when I was a teenager and I picked up like crocheting and knitting and did a lot of that. And then I got back into sewing um, when the pandemic hit and I was pregnant with my son. So I basically started uh, making a bunch of face masks. I think I made about 300 or so um, with the intention of selling them, but I just ended up donating everything that I made. Um, and then I was just really excited to be sewing again. So I started making my kids some clothes and things sort of took off from there. Starting the next day, um, the SCOTUS pegboard did not come with the screws that it needed. Um, and I also needed wall anchors um, because of the drywall that we have here. So I got Amazon, shipped to me some screws and anchors. So it's pretty overkill. I don't, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if I'm ever going to use this many. But um, I wasn't sure what size I'd need, so I just got a combination here. Um, yeah. So I'm feeling pretty happy about the way uh, I got this up here. The only issue that's bothering me is this gap is wider than this gap. But I think I can live with it because I don't want to redo it. And for the sad board, that would have gone here, but it is cracked. I'm debating on whether or not to... Um, well, obviously I'll return it, but I don't know if I want another one in exchange. I have something that might fit here um, that I'm probably going to need to... Okay, so I'm thinking if I can hang this centered here somehow that um, this might kind of work out for the space. Uh, this is from an AP photography project that I had. It was to do like a collage with film. Um, so I had taken strips of those like negatives you get when you get your film developed um, from back in the day. My mom had held on to those and so I developed them and they're just some of my favorite pictures from my childhood. Yeah, this is one of my favorite pictures of my sister. Um, she's eating the chocolate pudding. Uh, it's my first motorcycle there. But yeah, some fun pictures. We'll see. I'm going to I'm going to think on it.
made a bit of a mistake here. Um, I should have left the cardboard underneath. I didn't end up having any issues, but the instructions said to leave the cardboard there so when you're putting the legs on, um, you don't damage the surface. Like if there's anything underneath on the ground, I had swept just before putting this together. So it wasn't really an issue, but I don't know. Future reference for anybody putting together an IKEA table. There were major supply chain issues when I uh, did this IKEA shopping trip and uh, these legs were not available for like months and months. Part of the reason why I waited so long to actually put everything together. So I found a supplier on like, I think it was Amazon and when the legs arrived they were pretty dented and um, the screws and bolts and stuff were like rusted and it was way overpriced but like I could not find legs anywhere else so I just kind of bit the bullet with that one unfortunately and the style of table actually needs six legs because it's so long it needs like that middle support um, but I couldn't buy just six legs or a single leg so yeah, I'm just careful not to put too much weight on the table so it's not like bowing or anything. Um, I'm sure IKEA has the legs back in stock now, so maybe I can go buy one, one single leg. I've hit a bit of a roadblock. I have lost all my motivation. <laughs> I've done a lot today, so I'm pretty happy about that. I'm just gonna go get myself some tea and go to Joanne Fabric because I need to get something for some backdrop, for some pictures I gotta take. The kids are with grandparents today, so I'm trying to squeeze in as much of my to-do list items. <laughs> so we'll see how far we get. Check out my wallet, by the way. I've had this since I don't even know how long. My childhood. Anyways. Oh my gosh!
sugar again. Thank you. So I felt super awkward trying to film in there. <laughs> That's really weird to do. Um, but yeah, here's some boba, so I'm happy. Um, and now to go to join Pepper. texture or not. Hmm. Okay, this guy can go back. I'm trying to figure out different ways, like backgrounds, to have for pictures of product and I don't really know what I'm doing. It looks like a hairy leg. scrapbooks for my kids that I need to get started. That'd be a really cute paper. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, so I'm back from Joanne Fabric and I got this twine to hang. I'm gonna hang this dowel rod. Um, I don't know how to explain it. I'm gonna, we're gonna hang it. I'm going to drill holes in here and hang it so I can drape my, uh, what's it called? Tissue paper. I was originally gonna do this on the wall, but I didn't want to put a bunch of holes in the wall more than I already have. So this is a little bit longer, but...
This sewing studio was several months in the making and I can easily say I spent several years dreaming of having a space that I could use as a creative outlet. Hopefully I've helped inspire you to create a comfy space for your hobbies. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.